Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my family's camper. This is what we're... No, 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 no. no? no, no, no. <laughs> I'm the one who does this. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome again to Adventures and Pop-Ups. I'm Blake, and this is my friend Chris. And this is the place you come for campsite reviews, tips and tricks, hacks and mods to make your camping adventures more fun, more awesome. Today, we got Chris, and we are gonna tour his camper. So Chris, yes. tell us what you got here and how you're liking it. All right, what I got here is a 2010 Quicksilver uh, Living Light 10.0. So this was, uh, it's an all aluminum frame, all aluminum sides and stuff like that. How and much is that way? It's uh, about a thousand pounds unloaded. So if, if so. you need a light one, this is the one maybe. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so we were looking for a lightweight camper we could pull with our minivan. We have a Toyota Sienna. And uh, yeah, this is the one we chose to start out with for our uh, pop-up adventure. Huh? And what do you got for a setup here? I know right. you got some new things. Yeah, so we got this refrigerator uh -huh. over here. This is, um, it's like a ice co. Ice co. Yeah, and I think it's, it's about a 50 liter uh, model. And so plenty of room for a family of six. A few days for Girls me. though. So I'm not, sometimes there's a difference there. And um, yep, so that's what we got there. And then we got our pantry right here, like dry food items. And then this is like a camp chef uh, Sherpa that um, we can use various ways, but we typically just put stuff on there, food prep and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You could put like a camp stove on there mm -hmm. and then storage. Now, where did you find the fridge and the um, fruit food prep organizer? Uh, Amazon. Like always, you go to Amazon <laughs> for everything. Right. So, okay. We'll drop uh, some links for people if they're yeah, interested. Sure. If, you, if, you need, uh, if you want that, I think we might need something like I, that. We do. <laughs> and I think we got this at Walmart. Okay. This is a, a pop-up, like, uh, or a easy up type of a thing. It's, it's one with the straight legs, so it's a little bigger. It's, it's pretty good. Very roomy, good uh, headspace. Yeah. So this, you know, because it just is all tent on the actual trailer, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have an awning, but this works really well because it's, it's a 10 foot box. So then the 10 foot uh, easy up okay. fits it really nice. All right, so you got air conditioning. What else do yeah. you have inside there? Air conditioning, this is a 8,000 BTU. We actually upgraded. I think they came with the 5,000 BTU, mm -hmm. but when I got it, I wanted to up the ante, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, I, there was a really oh, good oh, Facebook oh. group uh, called uh, Quicksilver Living Light Tent Camper Owners or something like yeah. that group. Uh -huh. And they are amazing. They really know their stuff. And there's this one guy that he spent hours researching which dimensions would fit and he found that this one, this one's available at Lowe's. So we okay, yeah. there you go. If you've got this camper and you need a, a better, colder one, Lowe's. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, we're going inside now? All right. All right, here we go. You kind of put this up. So this has got more of a tent feel to it than a trailer. Yep. No traditional full door. Got your little door and a zipper. Okay, so what all kind of amenities do you have inside? Okay, so we have this kind of, uh, you know, cabinet right here. This is all aluminum too. And then we store a lot of like you know, first aid stuff, stuff for brushing teeth. This faucet hooks up to city power and then, or I mean city water, and then um, a little sink, it goes down as a drain. And then um, more storage in here, dog items and whatnot. And then down here, we have some more storage, lots of storage in there too. And then it, it runs off both shore power and then it also has a deep cycle battery and an outlet for 12 volt. And that can run pretty good. And it has some, uh, the beds, this is the part that we really liked. We have four kids and then it's my wife and I, so we needed to sleep six, but we didn't want a huge camper. And so this is a queen size on this side and then another queen size on the other side, and then we have a full um, that this dinette turns into a full size. So it looks like good headroom too. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm I'm six three, and I've got and this isn't even the tallest part of the camper over here. So 
Yeah, it looks like probably about six, 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 eight, six, seven, six, eight. Probably is about the headroom on that. So plenty of room for most people. So. So that air conditioner, it slides in for travel, huh? You don't, That's you right. don't have to set it up every time. No, no, no. It just it has. It's on some uh, slides that come in, so for travel, and then it has a watertight door that that nice. uh, then closes up on. So here's the other side, and this side you've got some storage. Typically, typically we put like, you know, a heater in here, some hoses or whatnot, um, bedding or whatever. And then under, in the, under this, this is actually made into a full size bed. We put a little uh, memory foam on top of it. And then oh, yeah. you have- Is that a dinette as well? You have a dinette, yep. So you got a table right here that yeah. folds out into a, you know, table. And then under here, these composite things have a lot of storage nice. for, all the, and typically we put a bunch of the bedding and stuff like that in there. And then, um, yeah, we've got another queen size bed on this side. So we've got two queen size and then a full, so we can do our family of six. And then we've got these uh, 12 volt uh, lights on either side. I've seen them where they have a fan too, but we just got the lights. So, and then we've, we do have a bathroom in here. It's pretty um, basic but we just got a cassette yeah. toilet and uh so yeah that's good for the you know uh nighttime when if you have to go to the bathroom and stuff like that and then um yeah it doesn't have a heater in this model some of them do but we just plug in like a electric heater when we need heat right. and then we've got the air conditioner so that's awesome now one thing that's really different from most pop-up campers you don't have a hard roof so how does it fold up so it folds up, up kitchen side first this way and then kind of folds up into itself and then so you the put beds all are the, the roof yeah and then the beds uh, so you fold up the tent first and then kind of stuff it in and then you uh, fold the bunk ends on top to form the kind of rigid roof and then actually you put a uh, there's a like a tonneau cover that goes over it so it's watertight really just across the seam where the two uh, bunks come together Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. this is a really fun camper. I'm glad you guys found something that works for your family. Yeah, thank you. All right. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris, for showing us your amazing new camper, new to you camper. And uh, yeah, God bless you all. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment what you like. And if you're looking for something that's light and what else you're looking at to help some other people uh, with ideas on what they could get that's light that their uh, van could pull. Blessings. We'll see you out there.